Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Honey. Yes, I had to start the video saying, honey. Anyways, my UK fans, y'all have been harassing me for the past few weeks. TT, you have to talk about this whole Meg and Harry and Will and Kate, all this drama that's going on. So I've been trying to keep up with it. I just, you know, I don't live out there, so it's not like a big story to me here. But, you know, you guys send, you know, me the articles and stuff. So I've been looking at it. So if you guys don't know, a lot of this drama started last month, okay? And I've just been sipping slow. So last month, there were rumors swirling. That basically Meghan Markle and Harry were being banished to Africa, okay? They're basically trying to get rid of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. <laughs> Y'all not can't pronounce that word, honey. I tried. Anyways, they're banishing them to Africa because rumor has it that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are now more popular than Will and Kate. And it's causing a lot of friction in the royal family. People are not happy. Because we all know um, William is the big brother. He's the one who's set to be king if his damn grandmother ever passes and his daddy ever becomes king and then he passes. Then eventually we'll get, you know, you know it'll trickle down to William. But right now, Queen Elizabeth is still alive and kicking, so he may be prince for the next hundred years. Who knows? Okay? Because we all know she's a vampire low-key. Y'all didn't hear that shit from me, though, okay? Allegedly, she's a vampire low-key, okay? Thank you. So anyways... Um, so they said that they were banishing them. So this is what page six was reporting. They're stating Meghan Markle is due to give birth any day. New reports say that the British royal family is scrambling to contain her popularity amid worries that she's becoming bigger than Princess Diana. You can't have no racially ambiguous chick being more popular than everybody's favorite princess, which is Princess Diana. They're not trying to have that shit, okay? Real talk. Then they go on to say... They've also determined to keep her and Prince Harry as far away as possible from the media and also Prince William after a split between the brothers and spat involving their wives. Under, the, under consideration is Africa, where Harry set up a charity in 2006 in Botswana where him and Meghan fell in love on their trip, which he refers to as his second home. Either way, the Palace Brain Trust prefers that the couple move abroad. In some ways, it will suit William to get his brother out of the country for a few years and Meghan as far away as possible, said one friend of the brothers. But going off is not necessarily what Harry and Meghan want. Indeed, they see their move from Kensington Palace to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor Estate as much as an exile as an escape, the paper reported. Meghan and Harry feel like they have been cut adrift. It's a bit sad, really, said someone who knows both princes. The wives don't get on and the brothers have fallen out. So that's what's being reported, but there's also some extra tea, honey, okay? And we know y'all like tea in the UK. So make sure y'all have y'all's damn teacups ready. So now this is the real tea, okay? So, you know, put on your seatbelts because y'all may not be ready. So what's really been going on, the reason why they're saying that all of this coverage of um, Meghan Markle, her pregnancy, the drama between the brothers and the wives, the reason why this is being spun in the media, the reason why they keep talking about Meghan Markle is to basically cover up the fact that Prince William is allegedly having an affair on Kate Middleton with her best friend Rose Hanbury, okay, in my British accent. Um, they're saying that apparently Prince William has a lot more in common with his father, Prince Charles, than we thought. Now, we all know Prince Charles couldn't keep his pen in his pants. Honey, you couldn't pay him to keep his pen in his pants. He stayed smashing Camilla, okay, behind Diana's back. So what they're saying is that basically now the Duke of Cambridge cheated on Kate Middleton with one of her best friends, who is Rose Hanbury. These, these reports have basically caused a whole fallout between the Duke and Duchess. Um, they're into it, uh, William and Kate. And Harry is really pissed off because these were friends that were, you know, they were all friends. That's Kate's best friend. So Harry feels like, you know what, even if you're going to cheat, like, do you have to cheat with somebody so close to all of us? So they're saying that's where the true falling out is coming from is because Harry is pissed off that his brother cheated on his wife with his wife's best friend. And since then, it's well known that Kate and Rose, they've had a terrible falling out as they should because you're fucking my damn man who's the damn prince, bitch, okay? Um, so they've had a horrible falling out. All right, so now to be fair, okay, Kensington Palace 
William and his lawyers have denied the affair. And they've even sent cease and desist letters to many publications like the UK Sun, the UK Daily Mail, who are running with this story. They're saying that the allegations of cheating are completely false. It got so bad that a few weeks ago, they were even saying that Rose Hanberry was pregnant by Prince William. So they're basically trying to say that, you know, Prince William has both of these women pregnant at the same damn time, honey. Like Future and all his damn baby mamas that won't stop coming out the damn woodwork talking about they're pregnant by Future too, okay? Okay. So to be fair, his peoples are denying this. His lawyers are denying this. So it's going to be up to you guys to figure this out. I don't know if it's 100% factual. That's what's being reported by many sources. But as far as Prince William's camp, they are denying it 100%. But it is factual that Rose Hunberry and Kate Middleton are no longer friends, okay? So I don't know if it's behind all of this or if it's behind something else, but I also find that strange that her best friend of many years, they're no longer close. So I don't know, that's for y'all to decide. So now as of today, breaking news, okay? This just happened this morning. If you do not know, because I didn't know because I don't follow none of these people, basically Harry and Meg have officially unfollowed, okay? They hit the unfollow button. Will and Kate. They have unfollowed Will and Kate, okay? The brother is no longer following the brother or the sister-in-law, and his wife is no longer following either one of their asses. Now, I don't know if, you know, Will and Kate are gonna unfollow them right back, because, you know, we live in a world of tit-for-tat, bitch. So I don't know if they're gonna unfollow them right back, but as of now, Harry and Meg wanna have nothing to do with them. I think they're probably gonna end up going to Botswana, having their baby there, and, you know, just, you know, taking a break from them. So this is what's being reported now. If you guys remember, it was a lot of hoopla when they decided to come onto social media. And I always thought it was just kind of weird. I'm like, come on, like, you guys are like the prince and king and queen and all this, you know, royal shit. Why even get on social media? Why even, you know, entertain social media? Keep living y'all's best lives like y'all have been living for centuries. I would stay away from social media because it causes a lot of drama and chaos. But, of course, nobody listens to me because <laughs> who am I? They ended up joining social media and in less than a few weeks there's already a riff they're not unfollowing all the people they were following so this is what people magazine is reporting they're saying the soon-to-be parents just updated their newly launched social media pages and they unfollowed the kensington royal prince william and kate middleton's account that they formerly shared with megan and harry clarence house the account of prince charles and camilla duchess of cornwall Princess Eugenia, Prince Andrew, and even the royal family, which represents the queen and other members of the family, their following list shrunk from 23 to just 16. So when you are the prince and the duchess, okay, people are watching everything you do, including what you do on social media. They have been on an unfollowing spree, and this is looking really bad for the royal family and for Kensington Palace, because not everything is playing out on social media. So what's being said is that the reason why they unfollowed them is because they're really pissed off that the media keeps focusing on Meg and Harry um, basically using them as a scapegoat to ignore the fact about the rumors that are swirling around about his brother cheating with his wife's best friend. So that's the real tea, okay? It's what's going on with Rose Hunberry. That's the real tea. And because the media is ignoring all that, but then focusing on, you know, oh, Meg has an attitude. Meg and Kate aren't getting along. Meg and Harry need to get banished to Africa. They're like, you know what? I see what y'all are doing. I'm following y'all. I'm making it public. So this whole situation, honey, is a hot rural mess, okay? But you know what? I'm here for it, bitch. I mean, the whole situation is crazy, and it's sad that he would feel the need to cheat with his wife's best friend. Like, come on, Will. You know better than that shit. Anyways, y'all, that's that's the damn tea I have for my UK subscribers. Y'all been asking for months, but I want to just kind of fall back and just see how this played out, and it looks like it's getting ready to really, really play out now that they've unfollowed um, them, because I'm sure William and Kate will damn sure return the damn favor, okay, and Kensington Palace, you know, but it's really sad that it's gotten to this point because they've always been close, you know, you would think they'd be closer now that they're both married, you know, Harry has a baby on the way, and you would think he'd give him, like, you know, fatherly advice, and give him tips so it's really sad that there's a big riff in the family but again it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out but i do feel like you know they don't like Meghan markle's popularity because she is the people's princess just like uh, princess diana was and they don't want that to overshadow you know princess diana's legacy so i think that's why they're trying to spin these bad reports that you know oh she's difficult she's a diva she went from being some you know hood chicken compton to now you know being a princess and you know her head has gotten big 
thing. And I don't believe any of that shit at all. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning the royals and concerning the fact that Harry and Meghan unfollowed damn near all them fools, okay? Being that they want to get them banished to Africa. They're like, you know what? We're just going to put it all out there and unfollow y'all and let the chips fall where they may. Do you guys believe any of the rumors that are going on about Meghan Markle and all of this drama? Or do you feel like a lot of that stuff is being put out there to cover up the fact that Prince William basically cheated with Rose Hunberry on his wife, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.